back everyone. What are we going to do today? Today we are going to learn about a first aider and what to do in a situation. Discuss how to stay safe and do your best in an emergency. What would you do if you saw these situations? Would you do anything at all? Would you be too scared? Would you know what to do? If you're going to do something, what is the first thing you would do? Do you want to be a first aider and help others? The role of a first aider is to keep yourself and the casualty safe, stop anyone getting any further injuries, quickly and safely treat any injuries, get help from the emergency services if needed. Remember casualty is a person who is injured and needs help. It's better to do something small than to do nothing at all. Here are some important things to remember. Stay safe. Stay calm. Keep talking to the casualty. Call 10177 or 112 if it is an emergency. Do your best. Staying safe. The most important thing in any first aid situation is staying safe. Who do you think is the most important person to keep safe? The answer is you. Keeping yourself safe is the most important thing. If you are hurt, how will you be able to help anyone else? The first and most important thing to do is to check the area is safe. Use your senses to check your surroundings. Can you see anything that might be harmful to you? For example, petrol leaking from a car or loose cables. Can you hear anything that could be dangerous? A car engine still running? Can you smell anything unusual that could be poisonous? For example, smoke or burning. Does anything look like it may be hot or sharp if touched? Metal or broken glass from a window? If so, do not touch it. And let and do not let it touch the casualty. Talking to the casualty. When you are in a situation which needs first aid, it is very important that you communicate clearly with a casualty. When you are hurt, you may sometimes feel upset or confused. This is how your casualty could be feeling. Talking to them and explaining what is happening will help them to stay calm and feel reassured. Here are three key things you can do when communicating with a casualty. Act calmly, speak clearly and listen closely. Even if your casualty does not respond, you should still explain what you are doing. It will help you to remember what to do next and it will let everyone involved know exactly what you are doing. Sometimes the casualty will need a lot more help than you are able to give. The best thing you can do is phone for emergency help. Which two numbers can you ring if you need help in an emergency? You can ring 10177 or 112 in an emergency. What sort of information do you think you need to give? The operator who answers your phone call will ask you, which emergency service do you require? What is your name? Where are you? What has happened? How many people are hurt? When you have answered these questions, stay on the phone. You can put the phone on loudspeaker if you need to. The operator will give you more information about how you can help the casualty. Remember the emergency numbers. 
If you think you might forget the numbers easily, then make a poster of it and stick it up for all to see. You might need to help your family members at some stage. If the injuries are serious, phone the emergency numbers. The kindest thing you can do is reassure the casualty by calmly chatting to them. You are in grade 3 and you have lots of stories to tell them. Do the best you can. We'll meet again soon. Bye.